Have you ever wondered about the difference between vaping and cigarette ingredients? To quote Health Canada, the ingredients typically found in vaping liquids are also found in the vapor. These include glycerol, flavors, propylene glycol, and nicotine. Compare that to over 7,000 ingredients always found in cigarette smoke, including carbon monoxide, hydrogen cyanide, hydrocarbons, nitrous oxide, free radicals, radioactive compounds, arsenic, phenols, and 69 substances that have been proven to cause cancer. Even before vaping became regulated in Canada in 2018, the vaping industry maintained its own standard which is pretty easy considering e-liquid only has four ingredients that are plentiful, inexpensive, and aren't dangerous to work with. So e-liquid manufacturers in countries that don't have government standards, such as the United States, have facilities that meet workplace standards, use the same four ingredients, and produce safe, effective products. There are no cheaper or less safe substitutions for the ingredients in e-liquid. The base ingredients in e-liquid are propylene glycol and glycerol, which are non-toxic and used in thousands of products, including food, hospital air sanitizers, and fog machines. Nicotine comes in a concentrated liquid, and it's just some simple math to figure out how much to add to make the different strengths of e-liquid. The variable comes in food-grade fla flavors. We breathe in flavors every time we smell food, or when we eat because most flavor you taste is actually what you smell with your nose. That's why you lose your sense of taste when you have a cold. Cigarettes would be a lot harder to make than e-liquid because as little as 65% of a cigarette is tobacco and up to 600 chemicals can be added to cigarettes. That means 35% of a cigarette can be something other than tobacco such as burning agents, preservatives, and tobacco byproducts. To learn more, visit our nonprofit, Vaping Advocacy and Education Project, better known as VAEP. Go to vaep.info for vaping.